हेलो एवरी वन वेरी गुड इवनिंग सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वाट इज मीन बाई बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन एंड एब्जेक्टिव ऑफ बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दीज थ्री थिंग्स राइट एंड फर्स्ट वन इज वाट इज मीन बाई बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन सो जनरली वी कैन से दैट कम्युनिकेशन इज द टू वे प्रोसेस इट्स अ टू वे चैनल right transferring informations and ideas one person to another person in any organization one unit to other unit one department to another department manager to employee and employee to manager right so they are passing the informations via effective communications right so the communication is a two way channel process transmitting their ideas feelings plans commands of managers and instructions of the management reports and suggestions of the employee that influence the attitude towards an organization's objectives the communicator's goal is uh, to convey the meanings or ideas without any disturbance to the employee the real success of the leader and the enterprise depends upon the adequacy of effective communication right um now we are going to move on to uh, types of business communications and first one is internal or upward communications and this types of business communication is anything that comes from the subordinate to a manager or an individual of the organizational hierarchy leaders needs informations to flow upwards to have a true pulse on the operations of the company most communication that flows upward is based on systematic forms reports surveys templates and other resources to help employees provide necessary and complete information for example a sales report might include the total number of pitches along with the actual sales it may also ask for feedback such as summary of problem or successes that management would like to track right and second type is internal and downward communication this is any type of communication that comes from a superior to one or more subordinates so communication might be in the form of a letter a memo or verbal directive right the leader should keep communication professional and clear with subordinates for example a memo regarding a new operation procedure might involve uh, safety requirements and new regulations there should be no room for interpretation of the safety requirements the language should concisely explain exactly what needs to happen right and third one is internal and lateral communication the lateral communication is the talking messaging and emailing among co-workers in the office i mean in the same office uh, this might be across department communication or just internal department dealings an example of a scenario involving cross department communication is where the fulfillment manager has a question about a special order and is and this is requesting clarification from the sales representative via an email or office messaging system um, those in the same department might communicate to provide updates on status reports and coordinate schedules coworkers should always be encouraged to communicate in a respectful and professional tone when at work and third fourth one is external communication external communication is any communication that leaves the office and deals with customers prospectors vendors or partners outside of the office right so it could it could always uh, involve regulatory agencies or city office and uh, i mean any other branches 
for the same office sales presentations or marketing letters need to exciting to generate interest from the customers but they also need to be factually based when corresponding to outside entities for partnerships or other business administration needs state the purpose and be concise in communication when oral or written respect people's time by getting to the point and stating your request so now we have move on to objectives of business communication and first one is to exchange informations in this scenario the main objective of business communication is to exchange information with the internal and external parties internal communication occurs with the organization through orders instructions suggestions opinions and etc externally an organization communicates with investors customers suppliers uh, competitors and government agencies etc and second one is to develop a plan so plan is a blueprint right the plan is a blueprint of future courses of action the plan must be formulated for attaining organizational goals in order to develop a plan management requires informations in this regard the objective of communication is to supply the required informations so the concerned managers and third one is to implement a plan so once a plan is prepared it it is uh, to be implemented it is ready to implemented right so the implementants implementation of a plan requires timely communication with the contented parties thus the communications aims at transmitting a plan throughout the organization for its successful implementation right and fourth one is to facilitate policy formulation so in this point policies are the guidelines for performing organizational activities so policies are also termed as standing decisions to recurring problems every organization needs to develop a set of policies to guide its operations preparing policies also require information from the various sources therefore the objective of communication is to collect necessary information for policy formulation and fifth one is to achieve an organizational goal uh, collective efforts in this point collective efforts of both managers and workers are essential for achieving organizational goals right and the communication coordinates and synchronizes the efforts of employees at various levels to achieve the um, marked goals of a company or any organization sixth one to organize organize resources to organize companies or organizations resources in this point various kinds of resources are available in the organization such as uh, human resources material resources financial resources and etc right organizing these resources in an effective and efficient way is a key challenge to the managers communication is the vehicle to the overcome these challenges right and seventh one to coordinate to coordinate so in this point information is a basic management function so it involves a linking the various functional departments of large organizations without proper and timely coordination the achievement of organizational goal is impossible therefore the objective of communication is to coordinate the functions of various departments 
for the easy attainment of organizational goal and next one to direct the subordinates the job of a manager is to get the things done by others in order to get the things done the management needs to lead direct and control the employees the performance of these managerial functions depends on effective communication with subordinates and next one is to motivate employees this is the main objective of business communication right the prerequisite of employees motivation is the satisfaction of their financial and non financial needs financial needs are uh, fulfilled through monetary returns however in order to satisfy non financial needs management must communicate with employees on a regular basis both formally and informally right and next one is to create consciousness and the last one is to create consciousness the employees of an organization must be conscious regarding their duties and responsibilities so communication supplies necessary informations and makes them conscious about their duties and responsibilities right these are all main objectives of business communication and uh, hope you are all understand the objectives and types of business communications right thank you